The Jordan River, also River Jordan, Hebrew, Neher Hayaridan Nahar Ha Yardan, Classical Syriac, Ner Dyardan Arabic, Nar Alordun Nar Al Ardun, Ancient Greek, Eordanes Eordanes, is a 251 km long 156 miles river in the Middle East that flows roughly north to south through the Sea of Galilee, Hebrew, Nart Kinneret, Arabic, Boherat Tabariah, meaning Lake of Tiberias, and onto the Dead Sea. Jordan and the Golan Heights border the river to the east, while the West Bank and Israel lie to its west. Both Jordan and the West Bank take their names from the river. The river has a major significance in Judaism and Christianity since many believe that the Israelites crossed it into the Promised Land and that Jesus of Nazareth was baptized by John the Baptist in it. Topic geography The Jordan River has an upper course from its sources to the Sea of Galilee, and a lower course south of the Sea of Galilee down to the Dead Sea. In traditional terminology, the upper course or most of it is commonly referred to as passing through the Hula Valley, as opposed to Upper Jordan Valley. The Sea of Galilee through which the river passes is a separate entity, and the term Jordan Valley is reserved for the lower course. Over its upper course, the river drops rapidly in a 75-kilometre run to the once large and swampy Lake Hula, which is slightly above sea level. Exiting the now much diminished lake, it goes through an even steeper drop over the 25 kilometers 16 miles down to the Sea of Galilee, which it enters at its northern end. The Jordan deposits much of the silt it is carrying within the lake, which it leaves again near its southern tip. At that point the river is situated about 210 meters below sea level. The last 120 kilometer 75 miles long section follows what is commonly termed the Jordan Valley which has less gradient the total drop is another 210 meters so that the river meanders before entering the Dead Sea a terminal lake about 422 meters below sea level with no outlet Two major tributaries enter from the east during this last section the Yarmouk River and Zarka River its section north of the Sea of Galilee is within the boundaries of Israel, and forms the western boundary of the Golan Heights. South of the lake, it forms the border between the Kingdom of Jordan to the east, and Israel to the west. Topic tributaries The streams coming together to create the River Jordan in its upper basin are, west to east, Iyyan Hebrew, Yon Iyyan, Arabic, Jur Dardara or Bragath Bragath, on old PEF maps 1871-77 as Wadi el Karar in the Merge Ayan area and Nar Barayat in its lower part, a stream which flows from Lebanon. Hasbani Arabic, Alhasbani Hasbani, Hebrew, either Snur Snir or Hatsbani, a stream which flows from Mount Lebanon. Dan Arabic, Alden Ledin, Hebrew, Dian Dan, a stream whose source is also at the base of Mount Hermon. Banias Arabic, Banias Banias, Hebrew, either Banias or Hermon Hermon, a stream arising from a spring at Banias at the foot of Mount Hermon, south of the Sea of Galilee the Jordan River receives the waters of further tributaries, the main ones being Yarmouk River Zarka Rivers Miller tributaries in this segment are Wadi al-Farah Wadi Kilt Topic Etymology While several hypotheses for the origin of the river's name have been proposed, the most accepted is that it comes from Semitic Yard, on Flow Down. History In the 19th century the River Jordan and the Dead Sea were explored by boat primarily by Christopher Costigan in 1835, Thomas Howard Molyneux in 1847, William Francis Lynch in 1848, and John McGregor in 1869. The full text of W. F. Lynch's 1849 book Narrative of the United States Expedition to the River Jordan and the Dead Sea is available online. In 1964, Israel began operating a pumping station that diverts water from the Sea of Galilee to the National Water Carrier. Also in 1964, Jordan constructed a channel that diverted water from the Yarmouk River, another main tributary of the Jordan River to the East Ghor Canal. Syria has also built reservoirs that catch the Yarmouk's waters. Environmentalists blame Israel, Jordan and Syria for extensive damage to the Jordan River ecosystem. In modern times, the waters are 70% to 90% used for human purposes and the flow is greatly reduced. Because of this and the high evaporation rate of the Dead Sea, as well as industrial extraction of salts through evaporation ponds, the sea is shrinking. All the shallow waters of the southern end of the sea have been drained in modern times and are now salt flats. A small section of the northernmost portion of the Lower Jordan, the first CA. 3 km miles below the Sea of Galilee, has been kept pristine for baptism and local tourism. 
Most polluted is the 100 km downstream stretch a meandering stream from above the confluence with the Yarmouk to the Dead Sea. Environmentalists say the practice of letting sewage and brackish water flow into the river has almost destroyed its ecosystem. Rescuing the Jordan could take decades, according to environmentalists. In 2007, Friends of the Earth Middle East FOMI named the Jordan River as one of the world's 100 most endangered ecological sites, due in part to lack of cooperation between Israel and neighboring Arab states. The same environmentalist organization had said in a report that the Jordan River could dry up by 2011 unless the decay was stopped. The flow rate of the Jordan River once was 1.3 billion cubic meters per year, as of 2010, just 20 to 30 million cubic meters per year flow into the Dead Sea. Recent literature shows the role of power asymmetries and of discourses and narratives in shaping hydropolitics along the Jordan River basin. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Roads, border crossings, bridges. Route 90, part of which is named after Rehavim Zevi, connects the northern and southern tips of the Israeli-occupied West Bank and parallels the Jordan River on the western side. There are two border crossings between Israel and Jordan which cross the river over bridges. The northern one, Jordan River Crossing or Sheikh Hussein Bridge is near Beit Shean, the southern one, Allenby Bridge also King Hussein Bridge, is near Jericho. From the bridges crossing the river within Israel, the most famous one is the Bnot Yaakov Bridge Hebrew, Gesher Bnot Yaakov, Daughters of Jacob Bridge. Eric Bridge at the northern end of the Sea of Galilee, allows access to the central Golan Heights, was crucial in the 1967 and 1973 wars. Al Sinabra at the spot where the river used to exit the Sea of Galilee in the past, few remains excavated by archaeologists. Jisr El Majami, north of Beit Shean Basin, closed. Damia or Adam Bridge, halfway between Jericho and Beit Shean, closed. Another closed bridge is the King Abdullah Bridge, south of the Allenby Bridge. Topic: <laughs> Importance as a water source. The waters of the Jordan River are the second largest water resource for Israel. Desalination of sea water from the Mediterranean being the first. Israel's national water carrier, completed in 1964, delivers water from the Sea of Galilee to the Israeli coastal plain. Jordan receives 50 million cubic meters 1.8 times 109 cu feet of water from the river, a quantity which is regulated by the 1994 peace treaty with Israel. In the past, one of the main water resources in Jordan was the Jordan River, with a flow of 1.3 billion cubic meters per year BCM per year. However, after Israel built the national water carrier in 1953 and diverted water from Lake Tiberias to Israel's coastal plains and southern desert, the flow of the lower Jordan River dropped significantly. The 50 mcm per year that Israel provides from Lake Tiberias as part of the 1994 peace treaty was meant to compensate for this loss. A 2010 study found that the lower Jordan River has been reduced to 2% of its historic flow. Water quality has also deteriorated sharply, with high levels of salinity and pollution from agricultural fertilizer and untreated wastewater upstream in Israel and the West Bank. Conflict about the waters of the Jordan River was a contributing factor to the Six Day War when, starting in 1965, Syria attempted to divert some of its headwaters in collaboration with Lebanon and Jordan. The diversion works would have reduced the water availability for Israel's carrier by about 35%, and Israel's overall water supply by about 11%. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hebrew Bible In the Hebrew Bible the Jordan is referred to as the source of fertility of a large plain, Kikar Ha Yarden, said to be watered like, the Garden of the Lord. Genesis chapter 13 verse 10. There is no regular description of the Jordan in the Bible, only scattered and indefinite references to it are given. Jacob crossed it and its tributary, the Jabbok, the modern Al Zarka, on his way back from Haran Genesis chapter 32 verses 11, 32, 23 to 24. It is noted as the line of demarcation between the two tribes and the half tribe, settled to the east, Numbers chapter 34 verse 15, and the nine tribes and the half tribe of Manasseh. That, led by Joshua, settled to the west Joshua chapter 13 verse 7, Passam. Opposite Jericho, it was called, 
the Jordan of Jericho, Numbers chapter 34 verse 15, 35 to 1. The Jordan has a number of fords, and one of them is famous as the place where many Ephraimites were slain by Jephthah, Judges chapter 12 verses 5 to 6. It seems that these are the same fords mentioned as being near Beth Bara, where Gideon lay in wait for the Midianites, Judges chapter 7 verse 24. In the plain of the Jordan, between Sukkoth and Zarthan, is the clay ground where Solomon had his brass foundries 1 Kings 7 verse 46. In 2 Kings 6 verses 1-4 the Jordan Valley is portrayed as a woodland region. Biblical commentator Albert Barnes suggested that, "...trees were rare in most parts of Palestine, but plentiful in the Jordan Valley." In biblical history, the Jordan appears as the scene of several miracles, the first taking place when the Jordan, near Jericho, was crossed by the Israelites under Joshua, Joshua chapter 3 verses 15 to 17. Later the two tribes and the half-tribe that settled east of the Jordan built a large altar on its banks as a witness between them and the other tribes Joshua chapter 22 verse 10, 22-26, at Seq. The Jordan was crossed by Elijah and Elisha on dry ground 2 Kings 2 verse 8, 2 14. The prophet and wonder worker Elisha performed two miracles at the Jordan, he healed Naaman's leprosy by having him bathe in its waters 2 Kings 5 verse 14, and he made an axe head lost by one of the children of the prophets float, by throwing a piece of wood into the water 2 Kings 6 verse 6. New Testament The New Testament states that John the Baptist baptized unto repentance in the Jordan Matthew chapter 3 verses 5 to 6, Mark 1 to 5, Luke chapter 3 verse 3, John 1 28. These acts of baptism are also reported as having taken place at Bethabara John chapter 1 verse 28. Jesus came to be baptized by him there Matthew chapter 3 verse 13, Mark chapter 1 verse 9, Luke chapter 3 verse 21, 4 to 1. The Jordan is also where John the Baptist bore record of Jesus as the Son of God and Lamb of God John chapter 1 verses 29 to 36. The prophecy of Isaiah regarding the Messiah which names the Jordan Isaiah chapter 9 verses 1 to 2 is also reported in Matthew chapter 4 verse 15. The New Testament speaks several times about Jesus crossing the Jordan during his ministry Matthew chapter 19 verse 1, Mark chapter 10 verse 1, and of believers crossing the Jordan to come hear him preach and to be healed of their diseases Matthew chapter 4 verse 25, Mark chapter 3 verses 7 to 8. When his enemies sought to capture him, Jesus took refuge at Jordan in the place John had first baptized John chapter 10 verses 39 to 40. Evidence from scriptures and archaeological findings has concluded that the site called al matiz on the Jordanian side is the most accurate location for the baptism of Jesus and the ministry of John. This has led to choosing al matiz as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which took place in 2015. Topic. Cultural significance The Jordan is a frequent symbol in folk, gospel, and spiritual music, and in poetic and literary works. Because, according to Jewish tradition, the Israelites made a difficult and hazardous journey from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the Promised Land, the Jordan can refer to freedom. The actual crossing is the final step of the journey, which is then complete. Because of the baptism of Jesus, water from the Jordan is employed for the christening of heirs and princes in several Christian royal houses, such as the cases of Prince George of Cambridge, Simeon of Bulgaria and James Ogilvie. The baptism of Jesus is referred to in a hymn by the reformer Martin Luther, Christ unser Herr zum Jordan kam, 1541, bass for a cantata by Johann Sebastian Bach, Christ unser Herr zum Jordan kam, BWV 7, 1724. The Jordan River, due primarily to its rich spiritual importance, has provided inspiration for countless songs, hymns, and stories, including the traditional African-American spiritual, folk songs, Michael Row the Boat Ashore, Deep River, and Roll, Jordan, Roll. It is mentioned in the songs, Eve of Destruction, Will You Be There, and The Wayfaring Stranger, and in Old Man River, from the musical show Boat. The Far Side Banks of Jordan, by Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash on June's Grammy Award winning studio album, Press On, mentions the Jordan River as well as the Promised Land. 
Jordan River is also the subject of Roots reggae artist Burning Spears' song of the same title. See also Jordan Rift Valley Jordan Valley Middle East Ed Dickey Synagogue Island of Peace Naharium Anand Baptism of Jesus Bethabara Stephen Collins archaeologist 2005 to present archaeologist in the Jordan River Valley Fair River Sharing Topic. References Topic. External links Media related to Jordan River at Wikimedia Commons Smart, multilateral project for sustainable water management in the Lower Jordan Valley Inventory of Conflict and Environment ICE, Jordan River Dispute Map of the River Jordan and Dead Sea, and the route of the party under the command of Lt. W. F. Lynch, United States Navy," is a map from the mid-19th century of the River Jordan and Dead Sea. The Jordan River, in which John the Baptist baptized his cousin Jesus of Nazareth, Yardinet. Com.